You'll notice when cutting the top out that the top plastic can be quite thick so it might be a bit harder to get through than what you've become used to cutting the sides. Just notice, just notice how thick this was in these parts here. You see the top, the top of it's quite thick um, and same on the other side so you might find that's a bit hard to cut through. Notice the sunlight coming through the side of the tank and there's quite a bit of light coming through there and I think if you don't paint the tank in time you'll have trouble with green algae growth on the inside of the tank. So that's another reason, apart from the UV, protecting the plastic for UV light, is to paint the tank before, especially the tank, before you put it into service. We'll use our little long board now, a short long board, as simple as that sounds, but it's, it's called a little long board. And uh, it's a boat building tool, quite good really. Um, so we'll use that to tidy up the edges. We'll just, we'll just take the, sh the, the sharp edges off what we've done here. Now to support the top of our tank, because when this is full of water, remember you've got a thousand litres which weighs a thousand kilos, and what will tend to happen is tend to try and push the sides out at the top, because we've taken the top out of the tank, so a lot of that strength crossways has gone from the tank. So we're going to put our two braces back into the system, and we're going to put them down slightly to one side, just down in this lower recess part, because later on we're going to make a nice wooden lid for this. So we want to put these two supports back in, and we want to put them down a bit lower. In this particular case, the shape of this particular uh, IBC is great for it because we can put them down and they're not going to be in the way of our lid. You can see that, they're going to be out of the way and yet they're going to be supportive of our tank.